Hello everyone and welcome to another iPhoneNerd.com tutorial. Uh, today we're going to be covering how to enable FaceTime, original OEM FaceTime, on the iPhone 3GS. Um, it is a very easy, extremely easy. Uh, don't get this confused for one of those tutorials that's going to tell you to install Fring or one of these other third party apps, which are good apps, but the quality just doesn't, just doesn't stick, you know, it just doesn't, uh, it doesn't hold up at all um, let me just shut this off here for a second I'm gonna be doing this on my iPhone 4 unfortunately because I do not have an iPhone 3GS however I've done this countless times so many times to a bunch of my friends 3GS's and we FaceTime all the time of course you're not gonna have a front-facing camera you're only gonna be able to use the back um, uh, the back camera but it's still FaceTime on a 3GS what more can you ask for original FaceTime um, just want to give you guys here a little preview of the new iPhoneNerd.com interface. Uh, iPhoneNerd.com is still down. Uh, we're still remodeling. I'm still trying to get everything uh, pieced and patched up together. It won't be open until until I feel that everything is completely 100%. Um, but if you're watching this tutorial and it's already open, please uh, find it in you to donate. Uh, it's 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 a lot a lot of hard, hard work has gone into this. Okay. Let's minimize that. All right, so this is very simple. Uh, what we want to do is just go ahead and open up Cydia. Just let that load up there. My Wi-Fi has been acting up all day today, so it might take a little bit longer than the normal for this to uh, to just start kicking here. Actually, it's not that bad. I am running the new Cydia, and I will have a tutorial on how to upgrade your current Cydia, which is the one that was installed when you when you jailbroke your phone, uh, to this new updated version, which is the one that Saurik and Chapon and all these guys have been working on. Well, while that loads, let's just go. First thing you want to do is just go into Manage, right? Sources, and we want to add the iPhone Nerd Beta repo. Like I said, the, the site is not even open yet. This is a beta repo, and I advise that you check what you're installing before you install on here because I have made mistakes. There's probably maybe one program there that could have a mistake. I'm not saying to be you know paranoid or scared to use the repo. Um, just check. Just make sure you check. First thing you want to do is just go to Edit, Add, and you want to add. It's already going to say HTTP. You want to add iPhoneNerd.com. I don't need to do it because I already have it. I'm just typing it up for you guys. Forward slash beta 0125 and another forward slash. Okay. Now, as I said before, the repo is still in beta. Watch what you install. Okay. Once you've done that, you go ahead and you hit done, and the iPhone Nerd repo will come up on your list of repos. Set this reload the data there. Okay, now once that's done, you just want to go ahead and tap on the uh, iPhone or repo. And you're going to see all the apps that we currently have on here. And I'm telling you, you could look through this repo. You will like a lot of the apps that we have on here are very extremely helpful. And I will have a, uh, uh, a video showing off all the apps that we have currently on the iPhone nerd.com repo, which is still not done, by the way. Well, let's just go to F. You go to F, and it's right there. You see a package that's called Face It 3DS, right? Just go ahead and tap install, and once that installs, you should install it. Should tell you to reboot. Blah blah blah. You reboot, and then when you hit home, once your your phone reboots, hit home. Go ahead and go into settings. My settings are password protected, of course. Okay, you go into uh, go ahead and go into settings, and you just go into phone, and you should have this here, FaceTime, right? My number is there. I'm going to have to blur that out. Um, you should have this here saying it says FaceTime, but instead of number, you should have email. And what you do is you just put it on email, your email, whatever it is on there, and you should have a working FaceTime, um, FaceTime on your 3DS. All you need to do is have them either call your email or whatever the case may be. It is extremely easy, and that's all there is to it. Another thing that I, another thing you might want to look at actually, let's just go back into Cydia, is how to get FaceTime over 3G 
That way you can FaceTime over 3G wherever the heck you're at on your 3GS, on your iPhone 4. It doesn't matter. It's extremely easy. Okay? Go right back into Manage, right back into Sources, back into iPhone Nerd. And we just want to look for all the way down here, 3G Unrestrictor. Wow. You hit that. And you install 3G Unrestrictor, and then once 3G Unrestrictor installs, you just open up 3G Unrestrictor, and you add the phone application, which is this. Just hit Edit and the plus sign, and you add mobile phone, and this will enable FaceTime over 3G. Uh, that is all for today, guys. Uh, please comment, rate, and subscribe. This is what I am doing currently as my full-time job. Uh, please support iPhoneNerd.com, and if you find it in you to make a donation, uh, go ahead and uh, and do that. Thank you very much, and any questions, feel free to ask.